The industry is now 30 years old. We knew that we had to do it better, be more streamlined, but producing more oysters for it. So that's what we're about. Well, what I've seen here today in Waikala is unbelievable. Just the innovation just in a basket assembly, it was like a manufacturing car production line. Uh, guys folding baskets, guys putting in clips, guys putting on the end caps and passing them on. This is the way forwards and it was all done in jigs. It can be done by children, it can be done by wives and kids. It, it is unbelievable. I'm going to be in aquaculture and I'm going to grow some oysters. Maybe a bunch of oysters. Maybe a bunch, bunch of oysters. Oh, it's quite a project. This is a project and a half, putting these cages together. I've learned so much from the class and I'm excited to come to it every week. And I'm looking forward to putting the leases out and getting that all good. And I'm ready to go. The, the passion and the, um, and the eagerness and the willingness to take in information is, is great. Um, your specific area seems like it's highly nutrient rich. The um, algae in the water looks like it's very, very conducive for um, fast growth of, of your oysters. Um, it doesn't seem like you've got a huge population here, so the water should be relatively clean. Um, and you know, with the eagerness of the students and the people involved, um, you could have a really good go at it. The potential's there. Uh, oysters are a filter feeder. And guess what they do? They filter the water and clean it up. Within the next year, there'll be 1.5 million oysters that were raised in aquaculture, off-bottom aquaculture, by these students that will be introduced into the, the local economy and, and actually national. Um, we're looking at setting up markets throughout the Atlantic seaboard and, and producing these oysters for that. So, you know, it's a whole new concept for the state of Florida. It's, it's an old concept as far as the rest of the U.S. goes.